What's up, guys? It's January 15th. The MMA Junkie Twitter mailbag is back. It is the first Friday of a UFC fight week in 2021. I know I'm probably uh, just as stoked as all of you for the fights tomorrow. Max Holloway, Calvin Cater on ABC. Does it get much better than that? But before we get to that and all the coverage I'm going to bring you tomorrow, I definitely want to answer your questions today. So let's jump into it. Question number one comes from a frequent question asker of the MMA Junkie Twitter mailbag. Johnny Cotton at Dat Dude Jr. asks, in 2020, we saw the rise of guys who may not have been on most people's radars, like Kevin Holland. As we embark on 2021, can you name a few fighters who you think will explode on the scene? Uh, I'm going to start with number three, work my way back to number one. Uh, so starting with number three, Brandon Royval, the UFC flyweight that burst onto the scene in 2020, coming out of nowhere. Uh, he was scheduled for Contender Series, and when that got delayed, I think uh, you know he was hooked up with LFA somehow. Bottom line is he gets into the UFC, he beats Tim Elliott in an exciting fight, comes back, beats Kai Kara France in an exciting fight, and then gets himself in a title eliminator against Brandon Moreno, the guy that goes on to, to draw with Davis and Figueredo. So obviously a, a big year for him, but maybe he didn't get the respect that he deserved because of that loss due to injury in the Moreno fight. So uh, after he gets surgery, he, he told me earlier a couple weeks ago that he's going to get shoulder surgery. After he does that, I expect him to come back with a vengeance. I expect him to continue to put on exciting fights and who knows what this guy's ceiling is? He's had three fights in the UFC and he's already knocking on the doorstep of a title shot. So I think that's a safe bet that he's going to have a big year next year. And uh, number two, maybe a guy that's been uh, around a little bit. It might surprise people that I'm dropping this name right now. But Bilal, remember the name Muhammad, I think is in store for a major 2021. He's always had the abilities. I think people have been excited for him whenever he's booked. It seems like people are very responsive to him. Uh, but maybe he hasn't had those major bookings yet that he needs to really propel himself both in the rankings and trying to get his name out there. Um, on social media, he's phenomenal. I think he's got he's gathered a really good fan base from the jokes that he cracks, the videos he posts, his podcast. Um, so if, if he can pair that with his fighting abilities in 2021, match those two things up, I think we're in for a guy that the UFC can, can really promote and somebody that we can see in major fights. And my number one pick for a breakthrough fighter in 2021 is none other than Thug Nasty himself. Bryce Mitchell, I think, is going to have a major year coming in with a wave of momentum, a great win over Andre Feely in October, a large fan base behind him, social media following, and a, a just an ever-evolving game. He's shown that he's much more than a jiu-jitsu fighter. He's got decent stand-up now. And his ground game is phenomenal. So I think if Bryce can continue what he's been doing, stick to the recipe, continue being Bryce, continue doing his interviews, he'll attract a lot of fans. He'll attract, for those that don't like him, a lot of attention. And he'll continue to be somebody that, that is in the forefront of a guy that the UFC wants to push. They want to push characters. They want to push unique people. And he's got the skills to back it up. 2021 will be his year. Question two comes from at Jack Gotzel, who asks, will Calvin Cater defeat Max Holloway? Then he also wants to know if the Bruins are going to win tomorrow. And that one I have a definitive answer for. They are. Uh, as for the MMA fight, it is a little bit more tricky for me to pick the winner of the, uh, the Max Holloway versus Calvin Cater main event. But man, what a great fight on ABC. I think it's the perfect headlining bout for the UFC's return to network television. Both guys have so much to prove. Uh, you know, where they stand in the division. Max Holloway wants to prove that he is still the best, uh, one of the best in the world, if not the best. And he needs to, needs, needs, needs to get a win here. I don't think he wants to be looking at one and four in his last uh, five fights. So that's huge for him. Obviously, Calvin has a major opportunity here. Not only is this his first five round UFC fight, but it is also against a former champion, the guy that when he got into the UFC, that was the guy that he was gunning for. He wanted that title fight against Max Holloway. And now he doesn't have the title fight, but he has Max Holloway. So it's a huge opportunity. And, you know, not, not to, 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 to uh, cop out of your question here, I'm going to give you a pick, but it is extremely difficult to pick. Um, Max has hung in there with Alexander Volkanovsky, who has that belt right now. He's hung in there twice with them. People thought, argued for Max uh, on both of those fights. I, I thought Volkan, Volkanovsky won them both, but that's beside the point. Calvin, on the other hand, has been improving. The New England cartel has knocked down the door. 2020 was a huge year for them, headed by Coach of the Year, uh, MMA Junkie, co-coach of the year, Tyson Chartier. You got Rob Font in there as well. And Jake Manini, a phenomenal uh, coach that helps them out as well. So it's going to be tough, I think, for both men. I don't think somebody's going to blow somebody else out of the water. With that said, 
I do think Calvin Cater, this is his time. I feel like this is his moment. I think a lot of people might be, I don't want to say overlooking him, but I think a lot of people, you know, kind of from what happened to Max last time, there's a big portion of the fan base that is very passionate about supporting Max Holloway. And I think Calvin is the dark horse in this division. I think we're going to see uh, if his rate of improvement continues at the pace that it was going. I think we're going to see a, the best that we've seen from him. And I think it's his time on ABC. And I think he'll punch a ticket to fight the winner of Alexander Volkanovsky versus Brian Ortega.